Okay, welcome to Advent of Code. Uh, today, um, slightly simpler setup using new MacBooks webcam. Let's see how good it is. And um, yeah, day 10 today. Let's see if it's hard or not hard. Okay, day 10. Syntax scoring. You ask the submarine to determine the best route out of the deep sea cave, but it only replies syntax error, blah, blah, blah. All of them, okay. Navigation is, oh, so finally something uh, that resembles Lisp. Brackets, right? Uh, the has made several lines containing chunks. There are one or more chunks in each line, and chunks can three zero or more other chunks. Adjacent chunks are not separated by any time the front chunk stops, the next chunk if any <coughs> can immediately start. Yeah, counting brackets. Yeah, I, I done it uh, a few times, I think, for I done it at least once for VS Code and once for I don't remember if I no. No, I don't I wasn't count yeah, once for VS Code. I was building uh, this rainbow brackets for VS Code, and for some reason, all rainbow brackets uh, that existed, they didn't handle errors, right? So if you misplaced brackets, uh, they were highlighted incorrectly, which is kind of very strange. And for Lisp, it's important to have reliable brackets uh, counter. So yeah, that's what I did, and I. You, for some time I had an extension there that does that. Let's see if I can find it, by the way. I think it was called Closure Warrior. And it doesn't do much. But uh, highlights here yeah, brackets, I think. And you can choose the style. But the, the main point was it was reliable and it highlighted misplaced brackets. And uh, in Sublime, this is on all handled in grammar, so you don't have to write custom code. You have to write custom grammar, which I did, and my my syntax for closure for Sublime does exactly that. I'm not using rainbow parents in my theme, but I could, and they actually counted. And if I have uh, less than the proper amount, you'll see. Okay, anyways, St let's stop bragging. Um, Okay, yeah. Some lines are incomplete, but others are corrupted. Find and discard the corrupted lines first. The corrupted lines one with chunk closes with the wrong character. That is where the characters it opens and closes with. Okay, so if we close with something that is not on the stack, it is an error. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go. Uh, it is pretty straightforward. This is our example, right? So I'm probably will create a file for it. Day nine example, and input will be yeah, a typical your typical Lisp program. <gasps> it's not day nine; it's day ten. Oh my God, sorry. It is yeah, your typical Lisp program. Okay, so uh huh. For this, uh, we do this and 
actually it, uh, let me show you so let's set syntax to closure so uh yeah unfortunately angle brackets are not considered a closure character but you see like grammar can kind of highlight incorrect characters so this is a third line right and we see it's there is an error on the third line <laughs> we can actually use sublime text uh, if only it counted uh, this uh, thingy uh, we could totally use sublime text for the, for this i can actually i can maybe modify my grammar and uh, the other problem is it uh, it considers each line all the lines together it uh, doesn't like uh in the task each line starts in you right mm, but my syntax considers them all together so but it kind of works up to the point um but anyways let's write a program it should be really really straightforward okay so score given a line and um so basically what you do is Okay, so basically what you do is you start a stack E0 stack is a vector, right? And you say I is more or equal than size of the line uh in this case return zero so because we didn't found any errors right um then we say character is this then our condition goes like this so if it's open in bracket any of these four right we record with ink i and conch stack character okay what what happened here okay okay uh no uh so there, there's a thing so my syntax is not confused right because uh this accounted absolutely correctly but sublime also has um its own way to determine pair bracket and this is like heuristic you cannot control this from a syntax file you can control like sublime does its own thing i don't know what thing it does and uh, like here it is confused it thinks this that this bracket is paired to this bracket unfortunately and you can do much about it yeah, that's why we did intonation wrong here. Okay, so uh, if it's not those characters, so it must be closing one, right? Um, so let's say if character is this and opening, we have this in peak let's call let's say pair is big stack right uh pair uh yes like this right if it's our pair um no no wait this causes this oh my god so it's so wrong uh if this is the case this is all We just drop the last bracket right and we do the same for all four pairs for this for this for this uh, pair is i'll treat it like that and 
else what we do is we basically take a map of prices um well, actually the prices is uh, the other way 350 okay so for prices like this and we so this is three this is 57 this is uh 1197 and two okay this number we take a value out of this right um, let's calculate the score for this thing okay looks correct right and let's calculate score for valid line Looks correct. Okay, so now we just sum everything, right? So basically what we do is reduce plus uh, map star split input uh, n. So we take input, uh, we map it with score and we do plus, right? And I think there is, like there is reduce and there is, I think there is method called transduce. Yes, and it's kind of like reduce, which also applies transformation. So in theory, okay, let's see if we get this one right first and then transduce map score it should be exactly the same yeah it is exactly the same okay this is our answer three one five three one five six nine three six nine three boom yay we wrote we wrote a bracket uh, matcher almost actually yeah for a real bracket matcher you would also remember position of this probably some reasons i don't know yeah but it kind of works which is cool and it's also fast but it was a simple task okay now discard the corrupted lines remaining lines are incomplete incomplete lines don't have any incorrect characters instead they are missing some closing characters at the end of the line to repair the navigation system you just need to figure out the sequence of closing characters that complete all open chunks in the line you can only use closing characters uh, and you must add them in the correct order so the, that only legal pairs are formed and all chunks end up closed in the above example there are five incomplete lines did you know that autocomplete also have contests it's true the score is determined by considering the completion string character by character. Start with a total score of zero, then for each character multiply the total score by five and then increase the total score by the point value given by the characters in the following table. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for each character multiply the total score by five and increase. Okay, so, okay, yeah, yeah. So the last completion string uh, would be scored start with zero. Okay, yeah, this is easy. Autocompletes uh, the winners found by sorting all of the scores and then taking the middle scores. There will always be an odd number of scores considered. In this example, the middle score is blah, 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 because there are the same number of scores, smaller and larger than it. Find the completion string. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> okay, so completion string is easy, right? Uh, we, we basically use the same algorithm, and uh, if everything is good, is good but now we can oh, sorry we kind of have this to consider mm -hmm. okay so if it's one of no 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 uh, no I'm wrong we don't have to consider those we know it is correct so we'll never meet incorrect Incomplete. 
it. Okay, so it also shows how I rely actually on um, Sublime's detection because I'm worried that when I stay here, uh, this one isn't highlighted. It should be, but it isn't. Um, you see, it's like this is properly highlighted. This is top level uh, bracket. I paint always to bring one different color. Uh, so syntax works, but this matcher doesn't work. Okay, but whatever. Um, so the thing is, if we reach the end of the line, of what we do is actually um, we start to unwind the stack. starting with the most closing one okay so we start another loop basically or maybe reduce even stack uh but we we must no nah, no nah, yeah we, we go let's call it reverse stack okay we start with this and we start with the score of zero and the function is going to be Uh, plus multiply score five and we need something like this table right but the scores are different so one two three four okay one two three four uh this is our function uh we used to reduce right And this is how we do it. Incomplete. Okay, uh, we have what? Uh, okay. For some reason this isn't closed. CH. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, okay, so now uh, I, we are in trouble again because I again am incorrectly relying on the syntax highlight okay so this pattern is matched with this one right this is matched with plus this is matched with fn so it must be this yes okay so this is incomplete um so the way we do it we start with with those with lines right we remove Uh, score line we remove incorrect lines uh, then we actually map is um, with autocomplete and this gives us uh, scores after complete scores we can actually check that let's check yeah part two example x is zero which x hmm what which x add out to complete so add is here and yeah 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 because we actually it depends on which characters go the other way like this okay so this is our scores and yes 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 it looks correct and now we need uh, just the middle one right so to take middle one um hmm. Is middle the same as median? I think it's here. Yeah, it is right. Median max. I always confuse mean and median. Um, the median is the middle number in a set of data. Yeah, yeah, basically. So let's. There is no median function like this. So say we have three right 
zero one two so count three and that means we need uh, zero we need one so basically oh, let's have we have five like this right so we need quote count excess two right this will give us like if we have five it will give us um two right yes mm, so basically and like this we are considering that there is always an odd number of things right is it correct no wait this is uh oh, i forgot the sort sorry yes Okay, let's see. Uh, let's print this number so I, I have a chance to copy it. Uh, insert here, and that's the right answer. Of course, this. Uh, what else could it be, right? Um, yeah, simple task. Uh, I quite enjoyed. Uh, this is something that I did a few times already, but why not? Not much to optimize. It also, I think it works pretty fast. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Like you, you will probably use a stack. There is um, like reverse is not very good operation. Maybe, but it's all right. It's these are like sizes. It's totally all right. Okay, uh, that would be the day 10. Let's commit day 10. Day one, day 10. Actually, Mac OS should be using, like the only way where I see the correct sorting of numbers is Mac OS somehow it figured that if there is a number they should be sorted as numbers not alphabetically and does the right thing you see day 10 comes after day 9. everything el everywhere else including windows i think and of course programs like <laughs> sublime text uh, they sorted like that actually let's see if um visual studio code sorts right i do have visual studio code right yeah, uh, let's open event. Maybe, yeah, yeah, you see, they, they pay attention. They did the right thing. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. Wow, I found a place where Visual Studio Code is better than Sublime. Who would have thought? Maybe I should report this. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, uh, what can we do as well? So, Another thing that I wanted to do actually, oops, remember day eight, right? Okay, let's stop recording for now.